Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and in this particular video, we are going to talk about how to actually compress your videos for Instagram. My God. Which means that if you upload these videos on Instagram, there will be a minimal loss of quality. As you all know, if you upload your normal videos on Instagram, there will be a terrible compression and that quality will degrade a lot. Trust me, it will degrade a lot. So in order to just fix that particular problem, we are going to compress the file directly in Premiere Pro beforehand so that Instagram doesn't actually need to compress the file and hence the quality is not degraded. So how does it do that? So first of all, let me explain why the videos of Instagram when uploaded at a higher quality is so bad. It is because It is because Instagram is very, very bad at compression. So in order to just prevent that bad compression, you need to do is you need to compress the video files beforehand so that there is no loss in quality when the Instagram is compressing the files. So that's why we are going to compress the file directly in Premiere Pro and then upload it on Instagram. Nice. So you need to follow these exact steps and it will be pretty much easy. And trust me, the results are very, very, very stunning. And let's just start it. So here we are in Premiere Pro and this is one sequence which I made the previous week for my Instagram video. So in order to just compress this file for Instagram to just upload in high quality, you need to just after finishing the sequence click on export, media and then after that you need to follow this exact step so that you guys can get the desired high quality video on your Instagram. So keep the format as H.264 that is a normal one, keep the preset as high bitrate now go to the video change the width to 640 and change the height to 360 and make sure it is at render at maximum depth and make sure that use maximum render quality is checked as well now in the encoding settings unpick that profile and change the profile from main to high and then in the bitrate settings, leave the bitrate encoding as PVR1 pass and change the target bitrate and the maximum bitrate to this. Change the target bitrate to 5 and the maximum bitrate to 6. Don't worry about all these numbers, you guys don't need to think of all these numbers at all. Just follow these exact steps and then you are going to see a very good quality Instagram video on your post. And then that is pretty much it. And the best advantage of this particular settings are no matter how big the video is, no matter how well the video has been edited, the estimated file size will be very very low. Like in this case it is like only 17 MB which is pretty low. While in other cases it would have been 2 gigs or 3 gigs depending on your video. So that is pretty much it and then after that click on export and then drag it onto your mobile phone and upload it on Instagram. And then trust me, you are going to be really surprised with the results. Such as this one, this one was one of the stop motions which I made the previous day and I did not compress it beforehand. I just left it for the Instagram to compress it on itself. And this is the result which I have got. And this particular video, this particular video which I made for my friend, I tested it out and then compressed it in Premiere Pro like I showed in this video and then posted it on my Instagram. This is the result. The quality is a lot lot better than my previous video and trust me if you guys try this as well it will be a game changer for you guys as well and with that being said this is pretty much it and this is Pixel Sammy signing out peace out. Yeah.